Hi, I'm Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to create a search form using the search form builder widget for Elementor. We have a search form created with the search form builder widget in our Rent Yacht demo and next you will see all the steps that you need to take to recreate this search form. The search form builder will work on pages created with Elementor. I have one here and the first step is to edit the page with Elementor. This page has the header section created with Elementor. I will enable Navigator so I can show better the sections used. In the first section we use this video for page header and now I will add the search form builder under the heading sections. I will look for the widget. This is the one. I will add it in the page with drag and drop. And now I will start adding the fields that I want to display in the search. By default you will have these two fields. You can delete or you can edit them. I will edit the first one. I will change the field that will be displayed in the search. I will select one of the demo custom fields yacht name. I will set the compare term for this field will be like. I will change the form field label and the form fields placeholder. I will remove the demo icon and I will set the column width. I will set it to 25%. My first field is added. I will add a new one. For this field I will set it to be check-in field. I will change the compare term to date bigger. I will add the form field label and the form field placeholder. I will remove the demo icon and change the column width. I will add the third field which will be the checkout field. I will change the term to date smaller. I will add the form field label and the form field placeholder. I will remove the demo icon and change the column width. And now I will add the last field on the search which will be the guest number. I will set the term to be greater. I will add the field label and the field placeholder. I will remove the demo icon and set the column width. I am done with the settings for the search fields. Next you'll have these options. You will be able to show or hide the fields labels. I will set them to show. Next you'll have the option to show amenities and features. This is the option. I will set it to not show. And next you'll have the option to show the section title. The advanced search here is the section title and I will also set it to not show. Next I will go to the submit button settings. Here I will change the text on the button. I will remove properties and leave only search. I will change the submit button width. I will set it to auto so the button will fit the form. And next I will add an icon to show next to the text. You will have the option to select an icon from Fontasm or upload an SVG icon. I will select an icon from Fontasm. This is the one. Now I am done with the submit button settings as well. And next I will go to style section and make settings for the search form design. I will start with the settings for the form. I will change the form column gap. I will change the row gaps. I will change the form label margin bottom. I will change the label text color. I will change the typography for the form. I will change the size and the weight. I will leave the background color to the existing one. I will set the form padding. I will set the form border radius. In the next section you will have the option to make settings for shadow. Here I will change the color and I will make some adjustments here as well. Next I will go to field style. I will change the text color. I will change the typography. I will change the font size. For the drop down typography I will leave the default settings. I will also leave the icon color as it is. Next I will change the field background color. I will change the field padding. I do not have a price slider added in this search form so I will leave the default colors. I will change the border width values. I will add a value only for the right border so you will see this 
lines here. I am done with the design settings for the fields. Now I will go to the button section. Here you will have the option to make settings for normal state and hover state. First I will change the background color. I will change the button text color. I will change the icon color and also I will change the typography for the search text. And also you can change the search text typography if you want. I will set the submit button text padding. I will also set the icon size and I will set the icon size padding. These are the settings for the normal state. Next. I will make the settings for the hover state. I will change the color for the button background. I will change the color for the button text. I will change the icon color. I am done with the style settings. Next I will go to advanced and here I will set the margin top value and my settings are done. I will save the changes made. I will go back to home page. I will refresh the page. And now you will see the search that I just created. This wraps our video. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.